Cranes play stackable concrete cubes underwater in what looks like a game of underwater Tetris. What you're watching is the latest technology and techniques to restore Louisiana's coastline and marine life habitat using Cajun coral. These 3D printed cubes are creating a new artificial reef off the coast of Grand Isle at a popular fishing spot. Coastal Conservation Association's Reef Louisiana program partnered with Raising Cane's founder, Todd Graves, to fund the new reef, which replaces a decommissioned oil and gas platform known as Hotel Sid, located just east of the Barataria Waterway. With every one of those artificial reefs going in, this is gonna create a whole marine ecosystem. People are gonna be catching fish. Countless species will live on here and then local businesses will will benefit because anglers come and they spend money. This is a project that people in Grand Isle have been clamoring for since this, uh, since this platform was removed a couple of years ago. More than 500 3D printed concrete modules form the artificial reef. In less than eight months, marine and plant life will blanket these cubes, which is part of the magic and mystery of Cajun coral. So now that you've seen Cajun coral going into the water, we're gonna show you how it's made behind the scenes. We're here at Natrix Center of Excellence uh, here at Demos with the Natrix CEO, Leonard Nelson. What you're seeing here is a 3D printed artificial reef that's used for two purposes, coastal protection and beneficial habitat. What we do is we start with technology that allows us to understand what are the needs from an engineering and an environmental perspective to both provide habitat for fish and other marine life, and also to protect the coast. We can make them larger, smaller, interlocking in various form factors. Natrix designs the 3D printed Cajun coral using AI-powered geospatial software to analyze environmental conditions. Each design is customized to respond to the site's unique wind, wave, and habitat dynamics. So this technology really had its uh, start right here in Louisiana. So four LSU graduates actually developed this proprietary and patented technique that is injection based. So what we're seeing here are custom control bores that allow us to precisely dose the mix with water in order to create a custom shape. Danos makes the Cajun coral at its site in Amelia. Here, large tanks hold the exoform mixture of sand and cement, which is shipped directly to the site via the intercoastal waterway. We had been looking for an opportunity to help the Louisiana coast, and we knew that there was a problem with our coast eroding and hurricanes were having a more intense effect. And so we were looking for an opportunity to deploy our resources and our capability and our standing here in South Louisiana. So this partnership with Natrix was just a perfect opportunity to take some of the men and women who work for us, who live here, who have capabilities to do this kind of work and deploy them to do something that we're really passionate about because we want to save and protect this region where we live. Each block of Cajun coral is 3D printed using a patented dry forming process. What we're doing is we're actually now injecting and printing a shape. So we take the 3D file, which we, we drop down from the cloud, and that goes here to the, to the, to the machine. Once we, once we hit start, the reservoir of our, of our water is injected to create the Cajun coral. And how long does it take to create one piece of Cajun coral? So for each one of these print heads, we can produce up to a 4,000 pound structure in about an hour. Each 3D printed cube of Cajun coral cures in a box mold before taking its final shape. This is dry mix, so that just, that we vibrate away. Okay. Right? So that, and then what you have left, it's almost like a toy in the Cracker, bo cracker Jack box, okay. right? You have the, 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 the Cajun coral is remaining. Danos installs the Cajun coral and Natrix monitors the product's performance using satellite data and we're able to look at things like vegetation health if we're, we're protecting wetlands. And that allows us to continue to refine the approach and extend the life and the performance of these projects over time. Collections of Cajun coral fill the yard outside the manufacturing facility, ready to ship off to coastal projects throughout Louisiana, including Port Fouchon and other coastal areas of the United States. 
So we can deploy the units either, either as a reef that we can fish at or as a shoreline stabilization opportunity to protect the wave action as it comes on shore and help save that coastline so that we, we stop the erosion and we stop the encroachment of water to the places that we're living. So I think the potential for us, firstly, is the entirety of the coastal United States. And then as we move out beyond that, we've got coast opportunities all over the world and we're excited to pursue that from right here in Amelia. The Cajun Coral Artificial Reef in Grand Isle has four areas spanning 10,000 square feet. The Living Reef will foster biodiversity and restore essential habitat for trout, redfish and other fish species, making Hotel Sid again a popular and fruitful fishing spot.